Hello, boys and girls. My name is HotSST and welcome to another episode in Minecraft. And we are once again in a big dugout uh, hole. So, but this time I spared you the process. And uh, if you are looking closely behind me, there on the wall, you'll see some uh, curious bricks. So that's part of the uh, stronghold, which is just in that direction. And uh, the uh, other hole with the uh, bamboo farm slash uh, uh, furnace ray is just down there. So on, on this side. So I am finally fed up with uh, all the uh, uh, chest mess that's uh, happening uh, everywhere. So I finally uh, started to get ahead and uh, figure out how I want to uh, do my sorting what items I want to sort it, how I want them sorted, uh, and uh, so on. And as you can see, once again we have slime chunks in here. Um, need to do something about it. But basically I will have four different storage systems in here. Um, and uh, those will be uh, combined with sorters, of course. So input comes from the top. We have, uh, uh, I think it's uh, a 20 block height cavern here. So that should be enough. So the first part here, those will be reserved for sorting and storing in shulker boxes. Then we have a whole line which is uh, just sorting and storing in the normal chests. Uh, and then over here we have only a uh, part uh, uh, drawn out uh, because these will be uh, uh, chest storages that actually uh, store multiple items in them and they are also sorted. So for example uh, uh, all the uh, uh, wood stairs, slabs, fences and such go all into the uh, uh, safe chest. And then basically the fourth category is all the rest that's not sorted into uh, any chest previously. So I will go ahead and build up one slice of uh, of uh, each type, maybe not the uh, the last one, uh, so uh, that uh, I can at least get an idea of uh, of the of the layout. So everything should be a uh, tileable one slice wide, except for these because uh, I need a sorting slot for uh, each item. So that's why the, the sorting line will go back and then uh, uh, forth again um, to sort everything. And then uh, here in the front we will have the chests. So I will hopefully see you in just a bit. I've built up all three of them now. So let's start with the most simple one, the sorter that just goes into a uh, chest. Here at the bottom uh, we always have uh, three double chests to uh, store the items. And then uh, on top there is the uh, standard sorter mechanism. Um, and the top hopper there uh, should collect all the items that uh, go through on a on a water stream. 
Uh, so hopefully that works. Then basically this this tower is is needed to get everything on the on the same height. And then basically this is the same concept, only with the uh, top part turned by 90 degrees. So uh, I can uh, move it along here and then all the sorted items will go through this chest and down here. And now the real complicated or uh, interesting part is uh, this one. Uh, once again standard sorter uh, at the top and then below here is a shulker box loader this is the uh, shulker box going into that space this spans from uh, here and uh, I can even uh, supply sh empty shulker boxes here from the back which be will be a line uh, going that way and once the uh, shulker box is uh, filled, detected by this comparator, uh, this uh, sticky piston will be powered, uh, pushing it down and a new one will dispense. This is basically the same design as El Mango showed uh, a few years back. But I slightly adjusted the front part here because I guess of some changes uh, uh, in in the redstone uh, in 1.16. Um, so with his setup, um, the redstone this comparator will go directly into the block here, and then. That would basically create a loop that would only uh, put one item into the shulker box, break it, dispense the next one. And uh, with this one, it works out nicely. So now comes the uh, boring part for me uh, to get all the modules in and uh, then uh, connecting the. Uh, item stream on top and setting the filters so I guess that will take me a while uh, but I at least hope that I have good part of the resources needed for that so I guess see you uh, once at least the uh, the uh, item uh, stream is in place and uh, then I can figure out how to get the items into that stream. Much progress done! I also started here on the uh, IS pass. Unfortunately, I did it wrong because the IS pass is on the same level as uh, these hoppers on the uh, other side and they point into the sorting hopper. So what this basically means, item that come around would get sucked into these hoppers and then stuck because they cannot be sorted. So uh, basically what I need to do is uh, get up here and move the ice pass to the uh, other side and uh, one block lower and that should fix that uh, and then of course I have the problem that uh, I cannot use uh, chests to align them but I have to use uh, sea pickles uh, but that's fine never tried this before but should work out then on this side I also put in all the uh, modules for the uh, multi item sorter uh, which worked out beautifully. Uh, I have one block left over there and one block over there and um, I did not count this out beforehand and also I think I 
counted that I need uh, 17 of those and I have 18 so one spare so uh, that's also good um, then initially I thought I would uh, wrap this line around at the other end and then uh, along the back wall for the uh, unsorted items storage uh, but uh, I guess I will need quite a space for uh, uh, some of uh, of these because uh, they will stretch uh, uh, all the way back and um, I think I had up to 40 items that uh, need to go into some of them so I will need quite a bit of space so instead I try to wrap this around uh, because here in the uh, middle we have quite a bit of, uh, of uh, open space and I imagine that uh, the uh, the blocks that I need most will come from these chests, from those chests or from the uh, unsorted ones because those ones um, basically they are more like okay if you do a specific project with that block you need those but uh, it's way less uh, common I imagine than uh, all this on the left side so I will I will fix the uh, ice pass and then also come up with uh, where I want to store what and that should give us a good idea Quite a bit of time has passed since the last clip. Uh, I installed the uh, drop shoot here, uh, which up top is just a hole in the ground. I think we will need to work on that in the next episode. But down here, all the uh, waterways and all the uh, filters are set up. Well, not exactly the filters uh, in each hopper. I have uh, placed in uh, fillers so uh, let's try this out by throwing in seeds down here and then they should end up in this chest down there because those are basically the uh, overflow chests that uh, go back here in the middle all the way and uh, while building that and uh, looking at this, I came up with uh, with an idea to uh, decorate this. The first idea was basically have uh, a, a very industrial look with uh, uh, lights at the, at the top and some iron bars. But maybe we can also uh, try something uh, more uh, cathedral-like because uh, here these uh, chest rows are uh, perfectly uh, in the middle. So we have uh, a left side and a right side or the other way around. And then basically these spaces are also all the same. Um, not really aligned with uh, this side but uh, uh, I think we don't have to uh, uh, take every comparison uh, to the to the extreme uh, what I might do is uh, have uh, a comparator taking a signal from the uh, top here so we can see uh, when one uh, chest tower is filled up and I also spent quite a bit of time in the end to get all the uh, shulker boxes that are needed so this is full uh, we have this all filled which is 9 here then 15 here 
uh, that's uh, 24 times 17 uh, plus uh, 10 and another uh, uh, 60 56 so it was quite a bit of work and now let's see yeah it arrived here so uh, it's all good so next thing is basically uh, 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 setting up the uh, filters and I am missing uh, the uh, jungle uh, tree uh, I don't have any saplings so maybe I need to take a trip to uh, to a jungle to get me some and then I should be uh, able to uh, basically fill everything on uh, this side and on the other side I um, I will have to see and then I can also get rid of uh, some of the uh, chest mess up top because then we can sort everything nicely so it's a bit more work for me and I will see you for the last segment all filters are filled in and while doing so I noticed that I uh, missed some uh, some items um, on the other hand there in the back we still have a few slots uh, empty because I decided not to fill in uh, the new nether wood types um, maybe we can uh, do them later on once I see that I need them or which ones I actually need um, then there is one item or one uh, possible problem that uh, pops up uh, uh, basically if these uh, chests are filled up all the way to the top then items would still go into the dropper and uh, be stored in this chest so a way to avoid that uh, would be to uh, detect when this hopper is full and then uh, basically lock this one so uh, no items are accepted anymore and that should uh, then shimmy everything over to uh, the next one but this is future improvement because uh, uh, I only have to worry about this uh, once all these uh, chests uh, are filled up um, but I think this will do for uh, now so uh, I hope you enjoyed this a uh, bit longer video but uh, I guess from here on out um, it will be a bit more on the uh, building side and less on the uh, technical side while well, there's still a few forms that I want to do but with this storage system in place it should be uh, easier to uh, collect resources and uh, get the work done so see you in the next one where we will uh, fix the input to this sorter and also uh, wire some other things up so if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon in the next one bye